the first trailer of Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 3 has dropped, giving us a sneak peek into the action-packed final season. This animated series takes us on a roller coaster with the surviving members of Clone Force 99 on a mission to save Omega, a unique female clone created by the Kaminoans. Let's dive deep into the trailer, dissecting the glimpses and hints that give us a taste of what's in store for the final season of The Bad Batch. Welcome to Star Wars Deconstructed, students of the Force and acolytes of the galaxy. Whether you're a Jedi, Sith, or somewhere in between, join us today as we dive into the details of this trailer. How did The Bad Batch Season 2 end? Before reviewing the new trailer, let's take a quick crash course on how the last season ended. The Bad Batch Season 2 wrapped up with a jaw-dropping finale that left everyone on the edge of their seats. Following the sacrifice of Tech, who valiantly gave his life to save his comrades in Omega, the remaining members of the Batch found themselves in a precarious situation. Seeking refuge at Sid's parlor, the scoundrel owner, who had previously distanced himself from supporting the Batch, ultimately sells them out to the villainous Imperial scientist, Dr. Hemlock. Dr. Hemlock's sinister motive revolves around Omega, the unaltered clone with pure Jango Fett DNA. In a surprising turn of events, Omega willingly turns herself into Hemlock, facing an uncertain fate. However, hope flickers as an unexpected ally emerges from Imperial custody. Crosshair, the long-lost Batch member who had initially sided with the Empire, but later defected after a pivotal episode titled The Outpost. Despite Crosshair's capture, he attempts to warn his brothers in the Batch about Hemlock's pursuit. The Season 2 finale takes a dramatic twist when Dr. Emery Carr, Hemlock's aide, drops a bombshell revelation. She, too, is a clone and happens to be Omega's sister. With this setup in mind, let's dive into the trailers and the takeaways from it. Despite the betrayal of their previous contact, Sid, at the conclusion of The Bad Batch Season 2, it appears that the clones are not without a new ally. The treasure hunter, Fee Genoa, has stepped into the picture, and The Bad Batch is still in collaboration with her in Season 3. The new trailer kicks off with a bang as Hunter and Wrecker find themselves in a precarious situation, driving a stolen Imperial turbo tank. Just in the nick of time, Fee Genoa comes to the rescue, picking them up moments before the tank drives off the side of a cliff. This unexpected partnership takes an interesting turn as Fee Genoa transports Clone Force 99 to her adopted homeworld of Pabu. It seems like the Bad Batch is looking to make a new home in this world, possibly intending to settle down once the mission to rescue Omega is accomplished. Also, it seems a Crosshair has indeed been rescued and is set to reunite with the Bad Batch in Season 3. The trailer for The Bad Batch Season 3 provides glimpses of Crosshair in what appears to be a reunion scene involving an Old Republic turbo tank. Notably, he's seen wearing his original non-imperial armor, signaling not only his rescue but also his return to Clone Force 99 as a full-fledged member once more. In the spirit of reunion, get ready for some nostalgic moments in The Bad Batch Season 3 as Commander Rex makes a triumphant return. This seasoned clone trooper, still mourning the loss of clone lives even after the conclusion of the Clone Wars, seems poised to play a significant role in the ongoing struggle against Imperial rule. As the galaxy struggles with the challenges of the Dark Times, clone defectors like Rex may find themselves compelled to rise against the oppressive regime of the Empire. Rex's return not only adds a familiar face to the mix, but also brings with it the experience and leadership the fans have come to associate with this iconic character. For those following Rex's journey across the Star Wars timeline, it's known that he will survive the Dark Times and eventually team up with the Spectres, as seen in Star Wars Rebels, during the years just before the events of A New Hope. And the nostalgia does not end with Rex. The Bad Batch is gearing up for a nostalgic journey as it appears they'll be making a return to Teth, a world that holds a special place in Star Wars lore. Teth was initially introduced in The Clone Wars, a theatrical movie, in 2008, marking the beginning of the animated series. Interestingly, Teth has also been revisited in the live-action Ahsoka series. Ahsoka Tano, during her flashbacks with her master, Anakin Skywalker, had a brief sequence on Teth. As mentioned earlier, Bad Batch Season 2 dropped the bombshell with the revelation that Omega, who has an older clone sister who is actively working within the Empire's Advanced Science Division. This mysterious character, whose history remains unknown, was shown in the trailer for Season 3 hinting at the continuation of the storyline and suggesting that the older clone is still aligned with the Empire. As the plot thickens, it becomes evident that this older clone may play a crucial role in the unfolding events. The dynamics between her and Omega, especially considering their sisterly connection, could hold the key to unforeseen twists and turns in the series. Nala Se, the Kaminoan who likely possesses knowledge about the full truth regarding these clones, also makes a brief appearance in the new trailer. 
Speaking of possession of knowledge, our infamous Dr. Hemlock is set to make a chilling return in the Bad Batch Season 3. And it appears that he is not only back with darker plans for his clone experiments, but also has been granted greater power and authority by Emperor Palpatine himself. The trailer hints at Hemlock's ascent and influence, suggesting that the Emperor has entrusted him with significant responsibilities. At the Imperial Summit, which marked the conclusion of the Bad Batch Season 2, Hemlock proposed ambitious plans that involve using the clones as test subjects for his experiments. The new developments indicate that Hemlock's intentions go beyond the scope of what even Palpatine might have initially envisioned. In light of his new powers and responsibilities, it seems that the Delta Squad has taken on a new role of protecting Dr. Hemlock. Scorch, confirmed to have appeared in Season 2, is now joined by two other unique clone commandos, potentially Boss and Fixer, flanking Dr. Hemlock. Fans of the beloved Republic Commando game may recognize these characters from their previous appearances. Now, for the most shocking takeaway, what if we told you that it's possible the tech didn't actually die? The trailer supports this compelling twist with the appearance of a mysterious helmeted figure leading a group of stormtroopers. Strikingly similar to Tech's original helmet and armor, there is a possibility that this character might indeed be Tech. This raises questions about his presumed death at the end of Season 2. The speculation suggests that rather than meeting his demise, Tech may have been captured by the Empire. The Empire, known for its ruthless tactics, could have recovered Tech's body and repurposed him into an Imperial agent. If this theory holds true, it would mark a dark turn for the character, transforming him from a member of the Bad Batch into a tool of the very Empire they resist, though it seems very unlikely. And speaking of unlikely, we may have a case of a significant time jump on our hands. Hunter's comment about Omega waiting for Clone Force 99 for a long time in the trailer hints at a substantial time jump since the events of Season 2. This suggests a significant period has passed, possibly spanning months or even more than a full year. The secrecy surrounding Mount Tantus as a hidden Imperial black site adds context to the prolonged timeline. Such facilities often operate with a high level of security, making it plausible for the Bad Batch to endure an extended period of searching for Omega and planning their rescue. Emperor Palpatine, voiced by Ian McDermott, also makes a striking return in the trailer of the Bad Batch Season 3, accompanied by his royal guards and Dr. Hemlock. In a significant tease, Palpatine declares that nothing is more crucial to the Empire's future than Hemlock's work likely referring to his cloning experiments. This revelation serves as a key hint towards the Emperor's desire to dive into cloning technology for pivotal reasons. The reference to cloning himself aligns with the narrative explored in the sequel trilogy, particularly the Emperor's attempts to prolong his own life through cloning. Additionally, it ties into the broader Star Wars lore, including the Imperial Remnant's interest in cloning and the experiments on Grogu as seen in The Mandalorian. The Bad Batch Season 3 trailer concludes with a surprising and exciting revelation. Asajj Ventress is alive and wielding her distinctive yellow lightsabers. This revelation is indeed unexpected, especially for those familiar with the events in the canonical novel Dark Disciple. In the novel, Asajj Ventress meets her demise before the end of the Clone Wars, following a complex relationship and potential romance with Jedi Quinlan Vos. The divergence from established canonical events in novels and comics for the sake of animated Star Wars shows is not unprecedented. The animated series often introduces unique storylines and character developments, offering an alternative perspective on established narratives. The return of Asajj Ventress with her iconic yellow lightsabers adds a fascinating twist to the Bad Batch, and fans can look forward to discovering the circumstances surrounding her survival with a three-episode premiere kicking off on February 21st, 2024. And quickly before we go, let's talk about some of the titles here. The titles of the episodes, such as Confined, Parts Unknowns, and Shadows of Tantus, offer intriguing hints about the direction of the upcoming season. The pacing of the episodes, culminating in the finale on May 1st, 2024, adds a strategic and interesting timing, potentially setting up the stage for significant announcements or events around Star Wars Day. If you enjoyed this video, please watch the next one and subscribe to the channel.